Well, hello, my name is Sawai Kesman from St. John's Indoor School and I'm here with my friend Luendo Monga. Now Luendo Monga, is it alright if I ask a few questions? Yes, it is. Um, uh, can you first of all start by uh, uh, defining or maybe explaining to the uh, viewer who you are, who is Luendo Monga in simple terms? Well, hello you. My name is uh, Luendo Monga. I'm doing uh, my 12th grade at St. John's Secondary School. And um, my hobbies are playing basketball, watching movies, just having some fun. Okay, fine. Um, it's, glad, it's good to hear that. Now, uh, how is education, how do you find education here in uh, St. John's Secondary School? How is it? Is it tough or give your own opinion? Well, in my opinion, education here is not really tough, to say so, uh, in the sense that uh, we've, uh, we've access to different uh, educational materials. Uh, for instance, here at St. John's, we are given the best quality education that we can have. We are taught different ways of discovering our careers and so on. Um, you are taught different ways of discovering your careers. Now, wh wh who does that? Is it the, the teachers? And uh, well, what subjects do the teachers teach if they really... Uh, are involved in that? Um, the ones who are really involved in helping us discover our careers is the same teachers who teach us. What they normally do is uh, they try to motivate us, they try to give us a uh, more picture about what is good for us in our education. Now, I've noticed that in your school, there are a lot of uh, um, the signs or words which are uh, written on the walls, all of them talk about HIV and AIDS. Is uh, HIV and AIDS a real big issue here at this school or maybe in Mungu in general? I think it's not only a big issue here at St. John's, but uh, here in Mungu, it's a very big issue. Uh, in the sense that uh, it has uh, brought uh, misery to this place. It has uh, robbed uh, children's parents, leaving them vulnerable. I think HIV AIDS is really a disease that should not be uh, talked about each and every time. It has to be discussed uh, using different source of communication like uh, newspaper, newspaper discernment, uh, writing of leaflets on the notice board, anywhere else where people can be able to, to read and really understand. Now I've mentioned about the fact that the HIV AIDS can uh, deprive uh, young people of their parents by way of death. Now, uh, do you have or do we have any uh, young people who are um, uh, don't have their parents who have lost their parents to HIV in here, here in this school and if so are those children uh, offered any type of uh, 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 help in as far as their education is concerned? I think there yeah, I can't really mention out the people who have uh, well I didn't say that you should mention them out but uh, all, I'm, I'm, all I'm asking for is do we have any or maybe uh, Okay, how are vulnerable children in this school helped by the school administration or anybody else who uh, would uh, give them assistance in as far as the education is concerned? Oh, well, we, there are different organizations that are helping those people who have uh, lost their parents due to HIV and AIDS. Those children are helped in different ways, and some of the organizations that are helping them uh, include uh, organizations like uh, the, uh, the Home-Based Care 
somehow it's, it's, it doesn't really help people or it doesn't really help pupils by paying for their school fees but it it just helps them in terms of uh, no, the is it the food sanitation and so forth now basic needs. do you uh, think there are things that need to be improved in this school what things are they and um, who do you think or hope to uh, uh, can be able to uh, help make those changes I think firstly the change should start from the government they should ensure that uh, quality education is offered and uh, secondly they should ensure that there is uh, there are more schools that are built because it's only through education that the the HIV pandemic is going to be eradicated in the sense that uh, someone who is uh, illiteracy cannot really know much about HIV and AIDS and therefore cannot know how he or she can prevent he or herself from that disease. I think the government should ensure that there are more teachers in those schools that are those schools that they are going to build so as to eradicate poverty, illiteracy and anything that makes people become backward. Now what is uh, your ambition? Now let's get a bit personal. What is your ambition in life? What do you hope to achieve? And what I mean what you hope to uh, do uh, in as far as education is concerned? Well I would say, since I'm in grade 12, I'm hoping to pass my grade 12 with flying colors. And after that is going to happen, then I'm going to pursue my studies uh, in the field of science. I want to dedicate my life to helping others through helping the community by inventing different source of different things like medicine anything that has to do with the, the healthy of a person what are your last word remarks if you have any well my last remark is uh, I just want to encourage the people out there that they really have to put education first because it's only through education that we can able to eradicate HIV and we can be able to minimize the increase of HIV and AIDS. And it's through education that poverty shall be brought to no, shall be brought to no existence. Thank I think you. those are my last words. Thank you.